Hey guys, King Bimo TV here for a Bloomboro Arena Open Day 1. Take a second, like and subscribe, really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, I make a new draft or sealed content every day when a new set comes out. And then later in the format, I probably do like five days a week. So thanks for watching. Let's open these packs. Hopefully get some good rares, nice bombs. Our last pull was really good. Check out that video. It's up on YouTube already. All right. What do we got? Uh, really bad, <laughs> really bad. Two total blanks, so we have five rares. Uh, Innkeeper's Talent's very good. Valley Flame Caller's okay. Azure Beast Binder's okay. Zora Line is really good. Three mana, three, three Flying Vigilance. Whenever a bat you control attacks, you gain one life. When it enters or attacks, you may pay two and two life. When you do return target non-land permanent card, mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with finality counter on it. So really good. Bat Lord, play this. All your bats gain a bunch of life. When they die, you bring them back. <laughs> awesome card. I don't know what this does. I don't think it's good, though. Three mana, three, three vigilance. When this or another creature you control enters, return up to one target creature you control with lesser mana value to its hand. Okay. So frog guy. Fine. So, not a great pool, but let's see what we have. Okay, let's take a look. All right, white looks okay, nothing great. Blue looks okay. Black looks okay. Red. Mm, red looks pretty good. Blooming Blast, Brazen Collector, Take Out the Trash, A Gate Assault, Two Harnesser of Storms. Green, Two Longstock Brawls, Innkeeper's Talent, Cliff Top Blue, Two Hive Spine Warring. Our green's very good. Green. Zoraline. All right, this pool's not going to be super easy to build. Like, could we play black white bats? I don't think so. Like, we just don't we don't have any bats. Right? We have a very good bat here. We have two bats, one, and they both cost five. No, one costs four, one costs five. So you can't even bring them back with the other card. All right, so I think Zora lines out. Green is definitely good. Maybe we can play Clement. We could definitely play um, Innkeeper's Talent. I'm not sure what the other color is. So let's let's do the green first. I guess in sets like this, you don't just like do the green, right? You need to like figure out your deck because. <laughs> Like Treetop Centuries is pretty good in green black, but probably not so good in green white. Uh, well, these I'm definitely playing. I know that. Like if we play blue, we add Pawn Prophet and Clement and Tree Guard Duo. But like these are not great. Drawing Wave Riders, okay. Maybe blue, blue, green. Let's see what blue, green looks like. I'm glad we have two of these long stock brawls. How's green, white? Green, white doesn't seem bad. Warren Elder, Sonar Strike, hop to it. This down players, rapid response. I think I'd rather play blue green, but let's see what let's see what green white looks like. I don't know if we want Brave Kin Duo. Are we gaining or losing life? Probably not, right? It. All right, 
right, let's try green blue. All right, into the flood maw is not very exciting. Shore up's good. I think antics is probably okay. Uh, mind spirals cool. Two daring wave riders, I guess. play three colors I don't even know what else we play like teamer we add red some of the spells we have uncharted haven and hidden grotto 35 of our 35 10 are creatures Clement. Whenever another this or another creature enters, return up to one target creature you control with lesser amount of value to its owner's hand. Yeah, so it it's essentially makes all your frogs, all your creatures, um, sticky tongue sentinel, which is pretty good. All right, I'm thinking blue green. Do we want to splash? I don't think black is worth splashing. Red seems okay. Could add the removal. Maybe the harnesser of storms. Otherwise, we have to play Spellgeier and like into the Flood Maw and High Stride. Well, that's, not <laughs> that's not great. I think I'd rather play the red and just like hold my breath. The white's definitely not bad, but I think I'll add the red and just hold my breath that we draw well. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is good for us. This will help with the few otters we have in our deck. Yeah, I don't think so. Harnesser of Storms, yes. 12 creatures. I want to play both Harnesser of Storms. I think I'll play TTM here. I think this is our deck. We're gonna make some cuts. We'll add some lands. Two, three tree city is pretty brutal. My last pool was very good. Check out that video if you guys haven't yet. Uh, a lot of lucky things happened to me. Uh, okay, 14 creatures. If we're like kinda spellsy, I guess. Any of these really stinky? Maybe Otter Ball Antics. Although we have a decent amount of spells. Innkeeper's Talent's really good. Mm, Paw Patch Formation's interesting. I think it's worth playing, but is it one of our better cards? That remains to be seen. Any stinkers in here? Long River Lurker is good for Clifftop Lookout and Pond Profit. Even Brazen Collector, it's okay. Right, because you can get that extra mana in. Tree Guard Duo is good. Yeah, I mean, I like our creatures. What do we have to cut? One, two, two cards. I don't know. Otter Ball Antics, maybe. I don't hate Mind Spiral. Our curve is still pretty low where we can afford to play Mind Spiral, I think. Yeah, maybe Otter Ball Antics can go. It is multiple spells, which is good for Harnester of Storm. Mmm. 
Maybe paw patch formation. And then I'm thinking mind spiral, but maybe it's one of these creatures. Maybe two harness to storms too much. I'll play 17 lands. Run away together. Run away together is not great in our deck. It's probably run away together. Let's just double check here. Yeah, so it's good with Clifftop Lookout. It's good with Long River Lurker and Pond Profit. Even Tree Guard Duo and High Swan Wolverine and Daring Wave Rider. I'm totally wrong. Totally wrong. All right, I'm just going to cut the Otter Bowl Antics. I can't, I can't come up with another cut, so let's just do that. 9-6-9. Nine, nine. Playing an extra green. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't love it. you got to get lucky. Three colors with very little fixing, but what are you going to do? Play with the hand you're dealt. Okay, we're playing to Johnny. Cocky, arrogant, stick. Cool. All right, we got our mana dream here. Just draw a pawn profit early. We'll be feeling great. Fountain Port Bell. I don't think we got any of those, right? <laughs> I should double check. I don't think so, though. This guy's in the tank. Jeez. A lot of green white. Duo. Sure. Um I don't think I'll want to take out the trash either of those, but either of those, that or whatever they play next. Play Clement here. Hopefully, it doesn't get killed right away. They are green white, so it's not super easy to kill it. But they could have their own long stock brawl. All right, so my this taps for mana, and when I play another creature, I could bounce the creature. All right, cool man. So plan is next turn probably tree guard duo. Oh, they have black now. Right. Um, yeah, let's just play the duo. Big body duo. These Wolverines are going to be hard to cast. I'm glad we did play an extra forest because this is going to be hard to cast. Just like our Darren Wave Riders is going to be hard to cast. All right, so that's that's got to die. Um, we can't can't kill it very easily though. Beast Binder kind of turns it off. All right, let's attack. Play the Beast Binder, which turns it off, and we'll play Brazen Collector. So Castrol draws a card. When it deals combat damage or any birds deals combat damage to me, they draw a card, put a 1-1 counter on all the birds, or play a bird from their hand or graveyard and put it into play. So Azor Beast Binder would just turn this into a 2-2. Two -two. Alright, so now they're gonna kill our Beast Binder. We're probably losing this game.
This does destroy target enchantment, so that's good. Too much red. All right, I'm gonna cast take out the trash on the big. I don't know. Maybe I could race him or something. Right, so there's our green. If they do a two for food. We're probably not racing them. Them to 10, they'll gain three life, they'll be at 13, so 13 to 12. I imagine they probably spend most of next turn um, pumping this thing up and then attacking. They'll get the draw card and they'll probably draw two cards and they'll feel really good about themselves and then we'll kill Hunter's Talent. Or if we draw a forest off the top, we could play Wolverine kill Hunter's Talent, and then fight the 4-5 with Longstock Brawl. Mm-hmm. All right, we can still fight it if we drew a forest off the top here. Not holding my breath on that one, though. We have five left, so 19% chance. dead here. Surprised they didn't draw a card though. I guess they thought they had lethal, right? Because of the Hunter's Talent. I guess that makes sense. They've drawn five more cards than me this game. They definitely didn't draw five. Maybe they drew four. Even that, it's a lot. There's two mana open. That's. I'm sure we're going to be fine, guys. That resolved right away. That's a surprise. I could play this or I could leave run away together mana up. I'm just gonna play this. I need some value, man. I need to catch up to this guy. Like they played nothing last turn. Nine lands in play. There's no way there's four lands in their hand, right? I guess there's some probability that's the case, but. No attacks either. What a coward. All right, what do we do here? Play run away together on our tree guard duo. Then pump the brazen collector and attack for five. A weird game. Is it this turn? Till the end of your turn. Okay, so I can't cast Mind Spire, which is a bummer. I would have liked to draw that, but.
We're just chilling at one here, guys. Okay. Thank you for sacrificing that so I don't have to wait between every phase. Okay. Keep drawing so many mountains. Okay. Uh, they must be just really flooded, I guess. Very surprising they have not won this game already. already. 13 lands in play. This is a non-creature spell? Oh, it's an otter. Oh, look at that. All right, that was cool. I forgot it was an otter spell. I don't have many otters in our deck. Do we have any other otters? Is that our only otter? We have another Harness Dirty Storms. Oh, we have the two Darren Wave Riders. Where are those when you need them? That's good. That's very good. Can we do everything? God, are we gonna survive? Are we gonna win this game? There's no way, right? Can we cast that? We can cast that. That's awesome. Which one do we wanna cast? Longstalk Brawl? Probably, right? That's long stuff, bro. Do you want to gift a tap fish? Can I even do that? Is that illegal? Can I? I can. I wanted to do that because it gave it a counter. And now all my creatures with counters have ward. Ward one. God, are we gonna survive this, guys? We don't have any trample creatures. I guess that's kind of a problem. We're at one. He might just be like, hey, do one to you, walls. Well, they're not red. At some point, we're just going to draw like five lands in a row, so not looking forward to that. But I guess we have in Innkeeper's Talent. That's a pretty sicko rip, man. Right? Um, right, we can't cast. Like, we can cast Runaway together. and bounce a wave rider. This is hard. We could attack this turn, boys. Right, let's 
play, let's get this to level two. Let's play a land. We need a six five. Uh, yeah, that's good. Four three first strike. So we have to take out the trash again next turn with our wave rider. It's unfortunate that uh, mind spiral went away. Not that we can cast a lot more spells. We have a gate assault, blooming blast, shore up, long stalk brawl on our deck. So plenty more spells. I don't believe we might win this game, guys. This is crazy. And we could take out the trash and the misbreath elder. Profit is good. I think we just do this and we kill their two two. It's, un it's fortunate it's been land every time, to be honest. And we had two counters on something. Might be playing too safe. Okay. Nice rip. Nice rip. Guess we just play it, right? It's an otter. Land? <laughs> every time. Which is fine, it's, it's worked out every time. They're like, they might be dead, right? 6-6, six, six, if we make 6-6, six, 6-6, six, 6-6. Six, 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 six. They block all those. 2, 6, 7. That's lethal. They might have multiple things. I don't think we should overextend, honestly. going on with my fan right now. My fan's going wild. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, six, six, four... Yeah, I, I know I'm playing a little conservative here. I could probably just kill them, but... We'll kill them next turn. You know, it'll, it, it'll still be there next turn. If we had like two sure ups in our hand, it'd be a little different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play sure up on it. They don't get the food token then. I think it's worth it. We also got another spell here with the the harness of storms. Do 
So we pretty much did that so they wouldn't get the food. Wow. So I think they got super flooded and we were able to come back because of it. So cool, man. We'll take it. I feel bad for them. Because our deck's bad. I feel like there's no way we make it to day two. It's kind of like, let me scoop for you, man. My pool's no good. So, like if you play your friend the first round of a tournament, you're just like, hey, man, how's your pool? Is it good? All right, I'll scoop. You You keep going. Uh, all right, we'll keep. We have an innkeeper's talent, so we'll make it work. Let's play this now on green, and hopefully we draw a mountain early and some creatures. Oh, but I, what I meant by creatures, I meant not creatures that are double green and cost five. I should have I should have said that. All right, at least we have our double green. Missing out on some counters here that we could have. Cleric, sure. All right, well, our first creature is going to be huge, guys. God, imagine if they kill this. Oh, I'm devastated. Can we please draw a land here? Or at least a creature that I can cast. Please. We're fine if we draw a land here. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Just play a 10 10. This is, a, I think this is a 9 8, right? <laughs> Does it have Ward 1 four times? That would be too good, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Too bad. That's okay, I'll do the same thing next turn. Are we, gonna, are we gonna get killed here? Is Mind Spiral worth it here? I think it I think it might be. I'll give them a fish. I'll get rid of this 3-3. Three, three for a turn. Well, we have our red now. So we can cast a Wolverine and Longstalk Brawl next turn. Or maybe Harness to our Storms. Maybe the Harness to our Storms might be better. Did they have a Saber or something? Give them another fish. Oh, let's kill the bat. So it gets two plus one plus one counters because of the enchantment. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's a good one. It's okay. an interesting play. Three, four, reach, Ward one. Ward one is pretty effective this early in the game. So they can cast one of our spells. So they're going to take Wolverine. And Wolverine, they can kill our uh, our class that's been very powerful. But it's definitely the Wolverine. Like it's not even close, right? What are you even thinking about right now? It's a complete no-brainer. They can kill the Innkeeper's talent with it, so. Their removal spell. Jeez. I think I'll 
I'll do the little cliff top lookout thing. Get another land. Loses the counters, but I think, I think that's worth it. Although maybe it's not, right? Because it has reach, and I realistically won't get any more counters. But I'm gonna I'll play take out the trash here to kill the flyer while they're tapped out. I'm gonna keep the island in my hand in case they have another discard thing. All right, so we have. Tied for the biggest creature. We have a removal spell for their biggest creature. It is unfortunate we lost that. But we've had a decent amount of card advantage over them. Uh, I think we have to negate Assault 5-4. Okay, and now we're in a stalemate. At least I think we are. We want to draw another daring wave rider. Or Clement. Or Harnester of Storms. Pond Prophet. That's kind of all we want, I guess. There's a couple other ones that'd be okay, but. They're essentially at 23. They have more cards in their hand. Seven mana. Do they have a season or something? Why are they tapping the mana like that? Stargaze. Okay. They look at 10 cards, but five of, five of them in their hand and lose five life. That's pretty good. I don't think we'll be able to come back from that card advantage. Like they're they're essentially drawing five playable cards. Yeah, I don't think we're winning this game. But I didn't think we were winning last game, so Yeah, that, that thought seize really got us. Stealing that five four and then casting it. So they played one spell, which got a two for one. So they took the two for one from us, and they got a two for one. That's like a five for one. Uh, this big guy. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can win. 12 12, we chump block. This guy's had a lot of removal in his deck, right? Rotten Mouth Viper 2, Paw Patch Recruit. This guy's deck is insane. This guy's deck is insane. This is probably better than my pool that I had earlier. Definitely better, actually. One, two, three, four. At least five on color rares. Great removal. Okay. Going to game two, or game three, whatever. Okay, we're playing Ely Corb. Ely Kerbmai. All right, hand is close to be, if I knew two lands are on top of my deck, this would be a snap keep, but uh, I think we got a mulligan this one, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm kind of just hoping to 1-3 to with this pool so I can move on with my life. And we have all three of our colors, though, so this, this got a lot better. Do I need double red? What am I going to do with four mana next turn? Not much. 
two three whenever a player casts their second spell does two damage to me I guess we'll just kill it man. Stop the mono red aggro deck here. Fabled Passage. I, mean, I don't want to play this yet. I'll play it on turn 7 after I cast Daring Wave Rider. It's not like they're killing me with a bunch of 2-2s two and we need a 2-3 to stop everything. Black. Yeah, they seemed like a red-black the way they were attacking me. So we want an island or a nice creature. It's not, not exactly what I meant, but that's fine. So, Island. That's so good, man. That sh card should be called Thought Seizing Warlock, not Thought Stalker. So this is, this is one of the times where they take the Long River Lurker and then we top deck the island and then they're like, oh, so lucky. Like that's what, that's what should happen. Come on, do it. Come on, do it. All right, come on. Come on. You know if you don't pick the Darren Wave Rider, I'm drawing an island, dude. You know it's gonna happen. I like when this happens in paper magic, because like your hand's just up. And you're talking him through it. You could even tell them, you know if you if you pick this, I'm gonna draw the island. You know it. Jesus Christ. This should be where's the timer over here, man? Yeah. Okay. Uh good draw though. I think we'll give them a fish to kill the teapot. The little teapot, short and stout, is on my pants, and now I can't attack, though. I should have attacked first. That was loose, guys. Whoopsie! Could long river lurker. I guess I'll long river lurker. I don't have the, I don't have the wave rider anymore, so. Now it's not a misplay. I meant to do that the whole time. Why did I do that? Okay, I just lost the counter. I'm so stupid. All right. All right, I was having too much fun with the Thought Stalker Warlock. All right, so I should have a plus one plus one counter on Tree Guard Duo. Because there's no reason to exile it. Just total mist. So if they play a Gate Assault on our Tree Guard Duo, I'm going to be really tilted. So I hope they don't do that. Yeah, I guess I want to draw something that provides value. No, bro, don't do that to me. What a dick. What a dick. Like, why would you do that? I'm not streaming right now, right? I record these videos. I don't stream them. But, like, he's stream swiping. He's, he's stream swiping. So I can't even talk. How could he cast the gate assault? What an awful human being. How did he do that? What's in their hand? Like, just double black spells? I don't know. This guy's really, uh, really takes his time to think. Elector, elector, like, I see the word curb. Ely curb, my? Sure. Cool card. I like that card a lot. 
put that card in my cube. Mm, I can attack here. Make the Vine Lasher a 2-2. Two -two, and get in for one. They didn't play a land last turn. Make the Vine Lasher. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'll do it. It was big ones. Some weird block. Take one, not two. See, now, like, they can't even triple block our beast finder, which they would have been able to do if they didn't jump block like that. We need some value here, man. That is value. What do we want to draw? We need to leave one green untapped here. No, let's just do this. Just do it. Attack here, we make the Vine Lasher a 2 2. Same difference. Yeah, I think they made a bad block last turn. Because I wouldn't be attacking this turn now. It's only one damage. I don't know why they're so phased by this one damage, too. I do like they have one card in their hand. I'm feeling pretty good about our four cards. Although we don't have a good, like, Clement situation right now. We are blocking surprisingly well with their six creatures. Just like, they, they can't attack. But if they kill one of these, then, then they can attack. Or if they kill the two, three at least. So next turn we have, we'll play Clement, and that's probably it. If we draw a land, we'll play Clement and TTM. We'll leave two mana open for Blooming Blast or Runaway together. I think we still play uh, TTM because we do have double blue spells. We have our one uh, Darren Wave Rider in our deck, so we want to make sure we can cast that if we draw it. Recruiter. Oh no. God, this self fulfilling pro pro prophecy here saying if, if they get rid of this one creature, we're in trouble. Let's block this one. At two. I think we're dead, right? All right, let's attack with the one three. We'll make the this a two two. What is it normally? Oh my god. <laughs> what is it normally? I was like, should I, could I just Blooming Blast it now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, are we just dead? I think we're just dead. Yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. Yeah, because we can kill the 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, we can kill the... We're dead. We're, take my word for it. If you don't believe me, I promise we're dead. Okay, one, two. So hopefully one more loss. So we can just move on to the next one. All right. We're playing Swift. Swift. All right. F fuck it. Let's keep it. Just draw around. 
Okay. Okay. Vine Reap Mentor. Best turn two in the format, probably. I'll probably just take out the trash that, right? No, I'll take out the trash that. See, like... No, okay. So they can forage. They're choosing to forage. Now I can kill it. That's why I, that's why I read the card. I'm like, is it two lines or one line? Because if it's one line, it's different. All right, we drew a land, so that's good. I wanted an island, but... Beggars can't be choosers, and that's definitively what we are right now. We are a beggar. So we'll draw an island, then we'll play Clement, then we'll draw another island. All right, we're one land away from being able to play a spell. That'd be exciting. Okay, let's see. Head of the homestead. So we're probably dead on board now. Just in time. At least we could fight one of these tokens. That's messed up. Oh, that village just went hard, huh? There's our island. Let's fight a bunny rabbit. All right, so we block the 4-3. We take 6. If we block the 3-2, we take 7. So we block the 3-2, and we just hope they don't have anything. Almost good enough, guys. And you know what almost good enough is? Not good enough. So let's just hope they don't... Yeah, it's the same. It's net-net. It's the same thing. I was looking like, oh, should I just play a Wolverine? If we had one more health, I know that's a pretty big if, but if we had one more health, we're, we're alive. I'm feeling pretty good. They have two cards in the hand, we have four. But we wanted to one three and we did, so we were successful in this run. All right, yeah, this deck was a pile. Um, I don't think, I will try to avoid playing three colors big time in this format because like, I think this is like above average fixing here. Uh, we didn't have any of the green like heap harvest cards or the three tree mascot or well, we have that one, but scribe, three tree scribe, whatever it is. So yeah, bad pool, two, three tree cities. There's times where I have attempted to make a video. So my pool and it only happened once or twice, I think, but I like literally just just scrapped it, didn't even build the deck, just lost 5,000 gems, <laughs> played the next round, because my pool's been so bad. So uh, I gave this one a shot, but let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna do another one, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.